Hello everyone, welcome to back channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. 90 Day Fian Happily Ever After Star Sophie Sierra's mom Claire Cheshire was arrested and here's where their relationship stands after what happened. Sophie is a 25-year-old social media Influencer from London Sophie met the 33-year-old aspiring actor and model. Robor on Instagram Quando she came across. His profile on a page about mixed-race men, Sophie approached Rob by following. Him, the rest as they say is 90 day. Fiance history however, Sophie and Rob's. Romance did not last. Sophie and Rob got married in 2022. Sadly, they separated by May 2023. When she left his new house in Austin, Rob had cheated on Sophie online before. She moved to the U.S. and Sophie could never get over the betrayal Rob and Sophie tried to make things work and even attended couples therapy on 90 Day. The last resort season two, however, it appears they decided to stay friends. While Sophie dealt with Rob's infidelated, her mom was always in her ear asking her. To leave him Claire planted the seed of doubt in Sophie's mind and wanted them. To break breakup Sophie has an interesting backstory that she revealed. In her debuted 90 Day Fiance episode, Sophie is of mixed race, her mom is British and her father is Jamaican. Sophie grew up in Spain where she struggled to fit in. Sophie said that she had a very wealthy grandfather, but she could never tell where his money came. From however, Sophie got to go to a private school and go on vacations. The fanciest of places, Sophie had no siblings, so she had been close to her. Mom, since she was little, Sophie moved to England by herself when she was around. 16 years old, Sophie's mom ended up moving there too, even though she hated England when Sophie moved to Mexico next. Claire stayed with her the whole time. She was in Mexico. Sophie wondered if her mom would move to America as well, since she was going there on a K-1 visa. Mary Rob, however, Sophie knew that Rob didn't like that they weren't the biggest fans of each other but Sophie wished for them to get along since they we were going to be family at the end. The day Claire is the one who coined the name Rob the knob for Rob on 90 days. Fiance season 10 Claire thought Rob was stupid, grumpy, and the epitome of a knob. Claire knew Sophie Estaba moving into a situation that wasn't ideal, but the latter was just excited to see Rob she was going to think of the bad stuff when she got to the U.S. Sophie used the saying, talk is, cheap money buys houses for Rob. Sophie asked Claire to wait until they were married to scare Rob off, she didn't want anything to mess up her. Relationship with Rob Sophie was in, for a surprise when CLA moved to the U.S. Rob and CLA got into an argument the first time they met CLA had joked about knocking Rob's mom to the ground which Rob thought was aggressive. CLA was was not impressed by Rob's man cave. Rob started an argument with Sophie and Claire after her reaction and accused them of not understanding where he came from since they'd never been at the bottom like him when Sophie and Rob separated after moving to Austin Claire was in the States as she'd found a boyfriend in Texas in 90 Day Fianza. Happily ever after season 8 Claire's disdain for Rob was ever apparent as the mom and daughter do sat down with Rob and CLA couldn't have a civil conversation with Rob CLA chastised Rob and wouldn't let him talk when he was finally able to say something Claire didn't give Rob's responses the time of. Day CLA has her mind made up about Rob, and at this point, there is no changing her mind about it. Claire did try to be faking nice when she and Sophie went to Rob in Sophie's apartment to tell him. Sophie was moving out again. They had an awkward living room room sit down after. Sophie started collecting her things. Rob, 
looked extremely depressed about the situation and Claire didn't dig into him. But it was clear she was happy. Sophie was leaving the house, CLA was still living in Mexico, but she came to Texas often to see her boyfriend John, and of course, Sophie Claire had her soapy left. Rob's apartment within less than a year of being married while Sophie was happy that her mom had finally found a good boyfriend after a string of bad experiences with men, she was upset that her own relationship was a mess. Sophie used the opportunity to discuss the real reason she was finding it difficult to Get rid of Rob Sophie didn't have a stable childhood while growing up. Sophie's mom Claire struggled with. Substance abuse Claire was not able to raise Sophie the way she should have. Sophie had to take care of her mom she ended up raising herself Sophie came across as a pride example of parentification. She took up the role of a parent while Claire dealt with drug addiction. Sophie said it was one of the reasons she wanted her relationship with. Rob to work despite him being a cheater. Since she wanted a family that was perfect for once unfortunately for Sophie Rob was not the person she was going to have her dream family. With Sophie's mom shared videos of Rob allegedly being abusive towards her daughter daughter on her IG stories via Mary Pants, one clip was Rob threatening to smash Sophie's phone and wanting her to pay for it even though Sophie was still on the K-1 visa at the time and was unable to legally work in the USCLA. Accused Rob of making Sophie cry, she said she was sick of being accused of being a controlling mother. Claire claimed he was giving Sophie money to buy essentials like toothpaste, while Sophie didn't mention her mom's name directly while addressing the video she told fans. It wasn't Rob who was trying to harm her. It was her mom Sophie accused Claire of posting the videos to blackmail her, and not to protect her, she said the videos were private and not meant for others to see. Sophie admitted she was disgusted by Claire's actions. She said Claire was not going to stop until she'd ruined her life and that it was insane because Claire was a family member. According to Starcasm, CLA was arrested on May 10, 2024 in Williamson County, Texas for an incident that occurred the day before. Claire was being held on a $5,000 bond. She was arrested for terroristic threat of a family-slash-household member, it appears. There were weeks of escalating tension between CLA Sophie and Sophie's friend, Callan known as Kay on the show, who were living together for three months. CLA was kicked out of the apartment on April 22, 2024. But the problems persisted partly because of Claire's financial issues, CLA supposedly kept asking Sophie for money. CLA was allegedly threatening Sophie with hurting herself if she didn't send her the money Sophie had already sent. Her $3,000 since CLA moved out Sophie also claimed Claire was sending her death threats Rob's best friend, Corey had confirmed the same while sharing. Screenshots of the texts exchanged between Claire and Sophie via Key and Kits. Claire was staying just four minutes away from Sophie in a hotel, but class failure to communicate with Sophie led the police to track her down and serve. The warrant CLA had allegedly attempted to harm herself before, and Sophie wasn't able to contact her. Claire spent six days in jail before the charges against her were dismissed. Claire won't be able to come near Sophie if she manages to post. The $5,000 bond CLA shared an Instagram update after her release via Key and Kivitz. She said she'd gotten her hair done and was grateful she could put her head on a pillow again. As she knew she'd done nothing wrong, Claire said that one thing that would never change is how much she loves her 90-day fine happily ever after star daughter Sophie. Liked videos.